Welcome to Module 3 of Air Potato Patrol Training. My name is Dr. William Lester and I am with the University of Florida IFAS Extension in Hernando County, Florida. In this module we are going to go through a brief overview of the Air Potato Beetle. We will discuss how the beetle was discovered, how to identify it in its different life stages, and how to identify the feeding damage it causes to air potato vine leaves. Researchers have looked for insects that control air potato in its native habitats of Africa and Asia. Numerous insects have been found that feed on the air potato, but many of these insects also feed on other plant species, which would not make them very good solutions for our air potato problem. Beetles collected from Nepal and China represent the two biotypes currently being released across the state of Florida. The right image, the orange beetles, shows the Nepalese biotype, and the left image, the red beetles, shows the Chinese biotype. A total of 41 species of plants were tested to see if the air potato beetles would feed on them. Research showed that adult air potato beetles will feed on five species closely related to our air potato plant, but feeding was very minor on all of them except Diascaria bulbifera, which is the species we are trying to control here in Florida. So these beetles are very host-specific, which means that they will not feed on any other non-target plants. Leaf cupping is elicited by females biting portions of the still-growing leaves. Cupped leaves appear to offer some protection to the developing eggs and young larvae, along with offering a modified microclimate. While this is the most likely location to find eggs, they may also be laid on more exposed leaf tissue. Females generally over, lay over 1,200 eggs throughout their lifetime. When the beetle larvae emerge, they are gregarious, which means that they stay in groups for a time. Their body coloration varies a bit, but their head, prothorax, and legs are black. They complete their larval stage in seven to eight days and drop off of the plant to pupate in the soil among the plants. They can be found on any part of the plant but are mostly found on the underside of the leaves. The adult beetles are all black except for their elytra, or the hard covering over their wings. The elytra of the Chinese biotype is red, and the biotype from Nepal has a tan to orange elytra. The adult beetles are most frequently found on the underside of the leaf and have a habit of dropping off of the plant when disturbed. Mating begins about a week after emergence, and the adults can live for several months. The beetle overwinters, or enters diapause, as an adult, so the only beetles you would encounter in a very early spring would be the adults. Here is a diagram of the air potato beetle's life cycle. As you can see, the beetles can go from the egg stage to adult in about a month. This diagram shows what the different life stages look like and is helpful in identifying the eggs, larva, and adult beetles. Early instar larvae feed only on the epidermal layers of the leaves or the surface of the leaf. However, as the instars progress, they begin to consume more tissue, leaving the leaf with a lacy appearance. Adults and late instar larvae will feed completely through the leaf and only leaf veins may remain. This type of damage is called skeletonizing. Feeding may also occur on the bulbils, which may exhibit a cratered appearance after heavy feeding. Generally, the bulb bill will callus over and the feeding damage will not affect its ability to sprout. So in conclusion, the air potato beetle is highly specialized, feeding only on this single species, the air potato. When initially trying to identify a population in the field, signs of feeding damage can help locate the areas where beetles are likely present, leaves with a papery or lacy appearance indicate larval feeding, more shotgun hole appearance is caused by the adults. Once a small population is noticed, generally early in the season, significant increases in the population can be expected after the first generation has become adults. This generation time takes roughly one month. And remember, as you go out into the field to identify air potato beetle populations, the adults often hide well, attempt to reposition themselves, and avoid trying to be seen and may quickly drop from the leaves and play dead if disturbed. 
We'd like to thank the United States Department of Agriculture, Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service for funding the mass rearing and release of the air potato beetles.